Indiana Jones movie. The merchandise is for the upcoming film Dial of Destiny. And there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Some pretty expensive stuff in here, too. Uh, the collection includes clothing, accessories, and toys from various retailers. The items have references to earlier films as well. There's bags, there's bomber jackets, there's cowhide leather jackets. They're expensive. Uh, and then some other stuff like socks from Hallmark, Funko games, Lego sets, things like that. I mean, this is a this is a coin purse for ninety bucks. It, it looks like the size of a backpack, but I'm sure it's very very small. Um, here's a wallet for forty bucks. That's acceptable. Five hundred dollars for a bomber jacket. That's a lot. Seven hundred dollars for a cowhide leather jacket. Now both of these have all this print on the inside, and they have all kinds of interesting facts about Indiana Jones and his character. One of the things they do is they say that he's born in Prist Princeton. Not Princeton, New Jersey, not spelled the right way. So if you're going to have an expensive jacket like this, you can't have it misspelled. So I don't know if that's the production model or if that's just the one they saw. But anyway, there's there's all kinds of other cool stuff. Fedoras for adults, fedoras for kids. Uh, the hats are kind of kind of cool. Socks are clever. Ancient relic for the adult socks. Young archaeologist for the kid socks. And then some pins and jewelry and tie tacks and things like that, keychains. Ooh, salt and pepper shakers are kind of cool. So Indiana Jones. Um, oh, this is a tiki mug that's kind of clever. It's that little demon god thing. That's all I have about that. Oh, the takeaway is to capitalize on your success. If you know that this stuff's going to be popular, plan for that. You know, don't make a hundred of stuff. Make thousands of things because you know a lot of people are going to want this stuff.